Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of 30 Days of Grammar. We're looking at um, the answers to the questions that were given in the previous lesson. If you're not sure what I'm referring to, please click the link below or I'm going to try and put a card right here so you can refer to yesterday's lesson. All right, let's go. So yesterday we looked at um, singular and plural subjects and how verbs agree with these subjects and you were given 10 sentences to identify the singular and plural um, whether to, no, not identify, but to circle the correct verb. All right, so the first sentence, our friend talk talks too much. The subject of this sentence is friend. Friend is singular, so it takes the verb ending with S. Second so, um, sentence, the man with the roses look looks like your brother. Once again, who or what the sentence is talking about is the man. Man is singular, so it takes the verb ending with S. And remember the rule I told you. The rule is simple. A singular subject takes the verb ending with S. And if you look so far, the rule applies. The women in the pool. Subject of the sentence, women. And the subject of the sentence is plural and therefore swim is the answer. The plural subject takes the verb ending without s. Bill drives. Subject of the sentence is Bill takes the verb ending with s. The football players. This sentence, the football players run five miles every day. Um, players run Players, that is what the sentence is talking about, more than one. And so it takes a verb without the S. If this sentence had been the football player, one player, then it would be runs. Let's go. The red-haired lady in the fur hat lives across the street. Once again, it's very important for you to identify the correct subject of the sentence. Who or what is the sentence talking about? The lady, and she lives across the street. One lady. He cooks. The boys walk to school every day. The weather on the coast appears to be good this weekend. Talking about the weather. And finally, the center and the basketball team bounces the ball too high. And the center right here is talking about the person who holds the position. Um, that is the subject of the sentence. And so, bounces the ball too high. Please comment below and tell me how much or what was your score out of 10 for this activity. And so, today... We are going to move on to a new topic, but before we move on, the reference site that was used for this activity was um, grammaryourdictionary.com. You can check it out, and some of the activities from the next lesson coming up, that's where it was taken from. And so we're looking at compound subjects. In this lesson, and remember, this is our series, episode 2, 30 Days of Grammar. And let me know if you have any topic that you want us to cover in the comments below. Remember, to we're looking at the objectives of this lesson to look at the, what are compound subjects, distinguish between compound subjects and or and need or nor. Now, we're not going to go too much into the neither nor either or 
because we're going to be looking at that when we get also to indefinite pronouns. So that will be something that we look at there. So we're not going to dive too much into that. And when we talk about compound subjects, we talk about when a sentence has two or more subjects, that's called a compound subject. The individual subject in a compound subject can be joined by the coordinating conjunction and or nor or neither nor. <laughs> I got tongue tied. So the examples John and Mary, John or Mary, and neither John nor Mary. And once again, not going to get too much into neither nor because we're going to look at it when we come back to indefinite pronouns in our next lesson. And so let us look at compound subjects joined by and. Compound subjects joined by and are considered to be what? Plural subjects. Therefore, they take the verb ending without S. And remember, when you have two things that are coming together joined by and, it becomes um, two individual things joined by and, it becomes two. So that's more than one, therefore plural. Examples, John and Mary are twins. Here, if we should take out John and Mary, we said it before, John and Mary can be they. They is plural. John and Mary, that's plural as well. And because it is plural, we have the verb ending without sr. Jamaica and Cuba are neighbors. That's another one. And so please add your own example. Please comment below your own example of a compound subject with a verb ending without S. And now we look at subjects joined by or or neither nor. When the subject is joined by or or neither nor, the verb agrees with the subject that is closest to the verb. And that's a simple word, um, rule. The verb agrees with the subject that is closest to the verb. And let's look at it. The piano or the bookcase. Notice we have two subjects here. But we have highlighted bookcase because that is closest to the verb. When we look at bookcase, bookcase is singular, and so it takes the verb ending with S, has to go. Now, let us look at another one, the piano or the tables. Notice we have, once again, piano and tables. However, piano is singular, and tables is plural, but we have highlighted the verb that is close, I'm um, sorry, the subject that is closer to the verb, which is tables. And because it is plural, it takes the verb without S, have. Let us look at another one. Neither the pillows nor the curtains, both subjects are what? Plural. However, we're looking at the subject closer to the verb, and it takes the verb without S. Finally, neither the pillows nor the blanket. Pillows, plural, blanket, singular. In this case, blanket that is singular is closer to the verb, look, looks, and so blanket takes the verb ending with S. Now, these are some simple rules that we can use to follow whether or not um, the, what the subject of the sentence agrees with. Please click the link below. You're going to find your second lesson on tomorrow's video. You will see the answer to that lesson. Please let us know if there's any topic you would like to to be covered. If you have any comments, please comment below. Also remember to like and share the video. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for join, joining us today and come back tomorrow for another vi video in the series. Guys, today I'm tongue-tied. Have a great day. Bye-bye everyone.